Hi there, I'm Birgit O'Connor and welcome to my studio. Now, over the last few weeks, I've created a series of paintings of chairs sitting on the beach. What's wonderful about this idea is that it allows the viewer to use their imagination and imagine themselves sitting there. So they make wonderful gifts and they also work as beautiful companion pieces and will brighten up any room. So what I wanted to do today is share with you just one painting along with offering you a free downloadable workbook that you can find the link below and let's get started. I'm going to get water on the background here. And if I wanted to make clouds, that would be a little different. Now, if you're in an area where it's really dry or your paper is drying faster than you can work, you can go ahead and wet a towel and lay that down and then paint on top of it or use a microfiber or a chamois cloth underneath that. And that will help keep your paper um, damp longer. Load my brush. I'm going to tilt it like this so that way it'll continue to move instead of uh, giving me lines that I don't want. And I just love to watch the color travel. You can see I don't necessarily want that. I'm going to try to avoid overdoing this, but I want the color to move. I'll take a flat brush, get a little more water right through here. I can cover a larger area very quickly, either with this or with my number 20 wash modeler. Right up to the straight lines. I'm not trying to be precise. Then I'm going to lift it up again so the color can move. Blue has a tendency to stain the paper, so that's the tricky thing. Let's move that around. And I'm going to try to keep some of that darker color along the top. Now, if you're using a French ultramarine blue or even with a cobalt blue, if you don't want any kind of pitting there, if you hit it with a hair dryer, it'll flatten the color. What I'm thinking about here is that we have our sky. And if I want it to stand out, then I would have the ocean up a little higher. So that way I would have more contrast here. So I'm thinking, let's go ahead and just get some of the values, the medium values. I'm going to use my French ultramarine blue burnt sienna blend. I'm going to use a flat brush and I'm thinking about the medium value. So I don't want it to be too dark and I don't want it to be too light. This is white, white. This is just maybe two shades down from the brightest white. And I'm gonna go ahead and just think about, this might be a little too big. I'll use a number 14 round blend brush just so I can get into these tighter areas. I'm not thinking about the background at all. Pull that down a little bit more. I'm not trying to stay within the lines. It's just too much work. I'm really thinking of contrast. I think I have too much color here, so I'm going to use a bit more water. I'm trying to, I don't really want to go too far out of the lines. I'm just trying to get an idea where my shadows are going to be. I think this is all pretty much in shadow. So I'm kind of, I'm filling this in, but I'm leaving spaces. Pull that down. So this is going to be the whitest white right here. And this is lighter. Okay. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I could come back in and add some of the beach. So I'm going to use my yellow ochre and 
a little bit of my cobalt blue, a little bit of my mud in the palette, and let's let's see what develops. Even if I did a little negative painting like that, where I had white grasses, that might be interesting. Not necessarily white grasses, but um, some of that white paper showing through. And I don't want to fill too much in. Maybe use a little bit of this yellow, more yellow. I'm just trying to think about where my lightest lights are. I don't mind any of that blooming. I'm going to go back to my larger brush. Let's see how that works. I think I'll just touch some of these edges. I'm experimenting with my colors, seeing what I like. This has a bit more of that turquoisey green in it. If we did the painting while it's still all very wet, we're not going to have any definition. I'm not quite sure where I want to go with that, so I don't want to overdo it. Okay, while that's drying, let's think about where we want the top of our ocean to be, or lagoon, or whatever we want it to be. I do like the potential of leaving it like this. I had the ocean down here, then we have, then I have to work harder with my shadows up here. But if I did that, then it wouldn't necessarily match with this idea. I want some of that blue to carry into this painting. I'm going to look at this line, match it up to that side. And if I want more of a dry brush technique, that means I'm going to have less water on here. See, this is the dry brush right there, that line. I think more than anything, I'd like it to be a little darker. We have that hard line, which is fine. But since my paper has that raggedy edge to it, I may not want that. And I might just dissolve it. Or maybe I want to add some of that green or turquoise or whatever your ocean preference is. Going to come in right through here. I want light next to dark. I like the blooms that are happening here, and even if we touch some of that color and let it mingle, we'll create more blooms, and I think that would be nice. I think I'm going to use my number eight. That's probably just a little too dark. Then a little more water. Just get a little color through there. And just thinking of shapes. I think where I might want some shadows. What can help these chairs pop out? I like all those loose strokes down here. I like the white of the paper showing a little bit. So I'd like this to pop out a little bit more. I can use this idea, go into the ocean. This is still a little damp. Then using this idea, I'm trying to decide, do I want to go darker in this area or darker over here? Uh, because I like the idea of them looking off into this area, this would be nice to add a spit of land, but we have so much space over here. It's dry-ish. Let's go around. 
trying to make that pop a little bit. The idea is working. Now I have to decide, do I want that hard line there or do I want to dissolve it? I think I'm going to go ahead and dissolve that line. I don't want the attention to go there. So I'm going to go across the sky and then I'm going to press a little harder here to dissolve that edge. So hopefully the attention stays right on those chairs. By doing that, it gives it more of a looser look. I do like that blue-green in here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to add it in some other areas. Maybe just clean this up. Right through there. And here. Now let's let that dull down for just a minute. Step back and evaluate. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you've had fun and learned a lot. And if you're interested in more of these lessons, go ahead and subscribe. And until next time, have fun and happy painting.